Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will write a C program on Linux to create files and update the timestamp. We will write our own version of touch command in C. The touch command updates the modification and access timestamp of a file if the file exists. We will use the uTime system call to update a file's access and modification timestamps. We will also use create inside a if statement. Uh, create a, is a system call. Uh, is only called if the file doesn't already exist in our code. So let's see how to do this. We need to include header files. I already have a standard IO and now I'm going to include a file control library. That will be include F. dot h include string dot h and include error number dot h Include u time dot h and then we have our uh, main function. We are going to take arguments from a command line. Uh, we are going to ask user to enter the file name. And over here, we will have a char type array file name. of length 100, size 100 and initialize to zero. And now we are going to check number of arguments with a condition. If arg c is not equal to two, we are going to print the message f print f and we are going to pass in standard error and the message please enter a file name as an argument And a new line. Then we are going to return one. We are going to copy uh, into file name by using a string cat our file name array and file name from the command line
in the size file name uh, minus one. Now we are going to update the access and modification time. We are going to use if condition and inside if condition we are going to call u time. We are using u time to update uh, the access and modification time. The u time system call take two argument file name and a timestamp but if we give the function null as the second argument it will use the current time and date the call to u time will be wrapped in a if statement which will check whether the return value is minus one if it is then something is wrong and error number will be set we then uh, We'll use error number to check whether it was a file not found error. If the file doesn't exist, we will create it using the create system call. If you time and file name and the second argument will be null for us. And we are going to check with minus one if there is some error. We are just going to uh, print, create a new file. If that file don't already exist. So here we are going to use another if condition. And here we are going to check the error number. with e n o e n t we are going to use a create system call and pass in file name and the permission and we are also going to surround this one with the if condition and check the return value with the minus one so we are checking for the error if the return value is minus one we are going to print the message uh, cannot create file by using p error And we are going to return error number. And if we cannot update the timestamp, time stamp, then something is wrong. We are going to print the message, cannot update timestamp. We will have our else condition, else block. In the else, we are going to print the error message. Okay, error cannot update the time stamp. and return error number uh, 
Oh, I need to fix this one. Uh, N is missing for return. And N is missing over here, string cat. We can compile our program by typing GCC, the compiler, and the name of our program file, touchprod.c, and then dash o for creating object file, touch prog. And just hit enter. And now we can run our uh, touch program. If you want to create a new file, uh, you can create that too, or you can just check the stat of a uh, already existing file. So I'm going to create a new file first and I will name it file. And we can now check the uh, state, uh, status of our file by using the ls uh, l command and the name of our file, which is file. And here is the uh, access uh, modification uh, time. And now we are going to uh, I will run uh, our touch program on this file again. Before that, I'm just going to uh, list uh, the content of uh, my directory. And I'm going to grab some other file name. Uh, I will use this system info. First, we are going to check the Time step on time stamp on this file by using ls l and then the file name system info dot c and this is the timestamp of that file. We are going to pass this file to our program uh, touch prog system info dot c and now i'm going to list that files information again system info dot c and hit enter and we can see the time stamp uh, is uh, modified is updated uh, by using our program touch frog So our program uh, is uh, behaving like a touch command in C. Uh, our program version is in C. Uh, the touch command updates the modification and access time of a file. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Asimco. Like my video, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.